Hey everybody, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. Welcome to part three of this four-part series on this stamped concrete pool deck. Today, what we're doing is we're going to actually stamp the concrete. You'll get to watch us do that. What Luke's doing right now is he's floating out the surface using that funny float. That thing works great, taking out all the imperfections in the surface before you stamp. Um, I'll have a link for that down in the description. And what Darren's doing, he's putting on the release agent here, and that does a couple things. It keeps the stamps from sticking to the surface, but it also adds a little bit of accent color to the finished product when we're done. So we're laying down the first stamp here. This is about an hour and a half after we get done pouring. We're starting the stamping process. It's firm enough to stamp. It's not firm enough to walk on with just your feet, but the stamps provide enough protection so you don't sink in. And, and it also leaves a really good imprint on the bottom of that stamp. Now we want to thank Marshalltown for providing us with these stamps. Man, they, they really helped us out. We were under the gun on getting this done because of the weather and we needed those stamps overnight. And they, Tim from Marshalltown got us those stamps overnight. So we want to thank Tim from that. This is a stone textured stamp. Uh, those are four by four stamps. They're real easy to use. You can you can lay them down any which way you want. There's no real set way you have to lay them down versus using a, like an ashlar slate stamped or a cobblestone stamp or something like that. But these ones go down just any way you want. You just have to keep checking to make sure you got good texture under it, you know, before you pick it up and move it. So Darren and Luke, they got their bucket of release out there. They're just spreading it out. You see me out there. I'm, I'm still magging out the surface a little bit. Um, making sure there's no rock holes, no bull float lines. Just, just You just want the surface to be really nice before you stamp. It just gives you a better product when you're done. Well, this pool deck's about almost 1,500 square feet. It's 1,480 square feet around this thing, including that walkway you see up there. So it's a good sized deck. It's probably about 60 degrees out today. It's kind of cloudy. So, I mean, we're not really ha having to rush too much. This was two loads of concrete, it's about 20 yards, so we're starting up here stamping where we started pouring, and we're going to work our way down to where they, that second truck, truck started, which is just down the other end of this big part. You can see we got a little roller there, a little stone textured roller. We like rolling the edges with that, so we don't have to st tamp too hard on the edges with our feet. We use the the Z pool forms for that inside form around the pool and that's just held in there by by friction I mean it's it, it, it's held pretty good but we don't want to be tamping on it too hard with our feet so we roll it with that stone textured roller man that thing's great again I'll have a link for the stamps down in the description for the roller any of these tools you'll see us using will be down there if you guys want to check them out but with stamping I mean it's all about timing you got to get on it at the right time. You don't want to get on it too wet. You don't want to get on it when it's too hard. So it, it's a little bit of a learning curve for that. You know, generally when you can, when you can press into the concrete with your fingers and it's, it feels kind of firm, but you can still press in there, you know, maybe a quarter inch, maybe three eighths of an inch, then you know you're getting really close. Um, and there's no bleed water on the concrete. You know, you might want to start throwing some release down that's that powder we call it release agent and just try a try a section you know whether you just tamp it in with your hands or you you step on it really lightly and just see how far you sink in it's a little bit of a timing thing and then the more you do that the better you get at timing it like if this was out in the sun we probably would have started a little bit earlier and we'd also be hustling probably a little faster getting it stamped probably I'd be out there with them yeah, I'm starting up on that other end. You know, I'm going to start going around the other way a little bit. It's kind of a messy process, as you can see. There's no real clean way of doing this when you're using that powdered release. That, that powder is so fine, it just goes everywhere. It, but it washes off. You'll see in part, the part four video, you're going to see us washing and cleaning and sealing. Hey, real quick, if you guys don't know me, you know my name's, if this is your first time watching, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. That's my company. 
Uh, I also own everything about concrete in this YouTube channel. So if you like concrete stuff, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. I, I come out with a couple of these videos a week, usually Monday and Friday, about all the different kinds of things that we do, trying to help you guys and teach you guys, you know, the different skills of the trade. And if, if there's anything I can do to help you guys out, you let me know down there in the comments. If you guys do stamping, you know, if, if you've done some stamping, let me know down there. Say, yeah, I, I do stamping. If you don't, you know, if you want to learn about it, again, just tell me. Tell me you want to learn. I'm going to be coming out with a course about step-by-step step about how to teach stamping. So uh, just like in the last video, some of you guys replied about wanting that course, but i got to get more of you to reply about it if you want me to spend the time to actually make a course. So, you know, I'll come out with all kinds of different tips and tricks and insights and stuff that you guys need to know to do this as a business if, if that's what you want to do. You can make really good money doing stamping concrete, guys. But you can also really mess up. You know, it's pretty easy to screw up and do it wrong. So you want to make sure you learn right. Learn from somebody who's experienced, who's already made all the mistakes, and learn from them so you guys don't make the same ones. You can see Darren and Luke there, they're getting down towards the end of that first truck now. Their first truck was about 10 yards, um, and they're just about where that first truck ended. And the second truck is maybe not quite ready yet, got a few more minutes. You can see Luke's going to use that funny float and mag out a little there, and I'm magging out some of the rest of it. We're putting the edger around the edges to round the edges there. You can see I'm floating out that surface trying to get it, you know, you just want to get it somewhat smooth. You, there can be a little texture to it, but you just really don't want any bow float lines, any little small rock holes or anything like that, because those things will show up after you stamp it. They won't go away. There's my daughter Tia there in the maroon. She's magging some edges. Tia and Abby are both in college. That's Abby in the blue. They're both in college. This is their summer job, so uh, you know you gotta appreciate having some good summer help. They're just learning, but they're picking it up quick. It does really help having a couple extra hands around. So we always float out the surface before we stamp. I don't know if if you know if some of you guys don't do that. Let me know. It'd be kind of interesting to know if you guys just try to stamp after you pour it and bull float it and leave it like that or do you always mag out the surface like we do and float it out i've always done this you know we i've been stamping for i don't know 30 years i guess we've always magged out and floated out the surface first all right that second truck is ready so luke and darren are getting ready to get going on that These, both these guys have been working with me forever. I mean, Darren over 20 years, Luke close to 20 years. There's nothing like having a couple good guys, a couple really experienced guys, you know, on your team. That's There's just nothing like it. So, I, you know, I appreciate all these guys do. They're good hard workers. They definitely know a lot about concrete. That stone texture, that's a really nice stamp. You know, when, when this is all said and done, when you guys see this after the next video, part four, you're going to see how really cool this looks going around a pool. We did end up putting some color in the concrete. It, we put, it's called gull gray. And it just darkens the color up a little bit after it dries. Instead of the, usually a 4,000 PSI mix, if you don't put any color in it, it dries kind of almost white. It's really bright. To look at you know when you're out there on a sunny day so this will just help keep it a little bit darker a little grayer but not so dark that it's hard to sit on it in the sun you know it won't be too hot to sit on yeah we just about got that second truck all floated out that second truck went all the way up there to that that far corner where that white bucket is All that release powder that's going in the pool too, that that gets that just gets that goes in the skimmer of that pool, that little white skimmer you see. 
up there in the concrete and then we just we just take it out with a little cup it doesn't get it doesn't get pulled into the filter or nothing so it doesn't really hurt anything so the next day when we come back tomorrow to start washing this that pool will be completely clean you can see I had a couple spots I couldn't reach with that funny float very good so I, I got on there with the skids just to mag it out really nice there's nothing wrong with being very fussy guys I mean it always pays off in the end customers want they want the best so you got to try to give them the best at all times you only got one shot with concrete to do it right you know once once you do it and it, it's not right and the concrete's hard it's really hard to repair hard to fix Darren's doing a little touch up there with the roller I'm coming up around that walkway now again guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead down there and hit subscribe uh, we come out with all kinds of videos pouring concrete floors and slabs and I even I, I, we do a lot of epoxy too if you guys want to learn about that let me know uh, I have a bunch of videos for that but I just haven't put them up yet stamping concrete's a big part of our business we do a ton of that you know pouring concrete floors is another big part of our business I've been doing that for 39 years ever since I was 15 I did it all through high school I did go to college for a year then I decided I didn't want to do that I wanted to do concrete that turned out to be a good decision you know I get a really a really successful concrete business um, I've learned a lot about being in business the hard way no one really taught me I just learned as I went but everything's turned out good This job is in Freeport, Maine, too. I, any of you guys heard of L.L. Bean, right? L.L. Bean is right down the road from here. So, I mean, we take for granted how close it is. I'm sure some of you guys have probably ordered some stuff online through L.L. Bean, some hunting and fishing or boating. But that that's a big, big business. They've been in business for years, too. Yeah, now we get all the release on what's left. This section's four feet wide over here. That other section, that big section on the other side, was 16 feet wide. This is a little bit larger pool deck than normal for most people. Got a little bit left to go there, and we'll be done. So, you know, like I said, guys, if, if you want to learn about stamping, if you want to do stamping for a business, and you want me to teach you how let me know down there in the comments and any of these tools you know Marshalltown Marshalltown gave me a good deal for you guys if any the links in be down in the description for Marshalltown tools and if you type in the coupon code EAC when you go to Marshalltown site they'll give you 10% off plus free shipping so most people that normally go to their site won't get that just you guys here watching so again, guys, watch part four. That'll be coming out next. And thanks again.